G'day, it's Shane here from Wine and Grape TV, and thank you for joining me in my home bar. But more importantly, thank you for helping me spread McLaren Vale wines to the world. Today, a treat. A treat, probably more for me than for you, uh, but I've got a, uh, been given a older wine, not too old, but a bit of an older wine uh, from one of the stables that I enjoy so much in McLaren Vale, and get the opportunity to try that older wine. And yes, I'm gonna use the Venturi again to see what difference that makes. Now, what stable is it from? I can even hear you um, say that through the TV, right? Or through the computer screen. The stable is from Marius. Marius makes some fantastic wine. Marius is the brand name from Roger Pike, Pike's Vineyard. And um, for those who have been following Lonely Grape TV for a while, I actually did uh, picking in at Marius's Vineyard uh, last vintage. I'm looking forward to this vintage's pick as well. And uh, I got my hands on a bottle of 2005 Symphony, which is the top end uh, Shiraz. So there is the label, the Marius 2005 Sympathy, uh, Sympathy, Symphony. And I'm so looking forward to this. So with the Venturi, the before and after. So cracking this wine right now. And without real breathing, We'll go straight into the wanky thing. Why do you call it the wanky thing? Why do I call it the wanky thing, I hear? Remember, the video's on. But my son just asked me, why do I call it the wanky thing? Okay. And a big happy birthday to Tyler. It's his birthday next week. Um, but he had a birthday party today. So he's really hyped about, about his birthday. That's what your mum calls it, the wanky thing. So that's why I just that's why I caught that now. Oh. <coughs> Sorry, that's not the wine. Chocolate. Got a real sense of chocolate there. Okay, a real sense of the uh, the plum characters you get from um, Shiraz, and this is 100% Shiraz, right? But there's a real chocolate backbone there, which is McLaren Vale. Let's face it. Chocolate Shiraz McLaren Vale. There's definite some spice there. Uh, I wouldn't say straight on pepper. Let me just see if we've got a... It's 15% alcohol. So there was... There's just a slight tingle of alcohol on the nose. But nothing to take away from the enjoyment. Now I'm getting a change in that, just even with the, the small amount of time that I've been doing the wanky thing now. That's really nice. Um, what I think, what I think's happening here. What I think is happening here is it's going from being a fruit-driven wine to more the secondary flavours. And we're probably at that inflection point in changing from there. <clears throat> so there's the fruit is starting to become less up front. And the, the chocolate, um, the, all those secondary flavours, the oak flavours, the tannins and all that sort of stuff. The interesting th thing for me though, um, yes you can feel there's tannins there, but there's none of that dryness that you get, there's no teeth drying, there's no puckering in the mouth, so those tannins are starting to soften off. That really is really is nice. Now what might you say should I have with this? Well I can tell you that I'm about to cook a steak, nice T-bone steak, right? And I'm going to finish off this bottle after uh, after this with consuming that T-bone steak. So I know you can't hear it, but I'm going to use the, uh, or see it, but I'm going to use the Venturi now. You might be able to hear that. Right, 
Now let's see Hello. what difference that makes. Well, don't, don't get in front of the camera, matey. I asked you if you wanted to come up here and help me. I just wanted to have a quick say now. Oh, okay. Now that's made a big difference. The Venturi, for those that um, haven't seen the earlier episodes, it actually sucks in some air through um, a Venturi. Uh, so it's a narrow um, opening uh, and it comes out to a larger opening. So the idea there is it's sucking air in, drawing it in, mixing it with the wine. So that gives um, high intensity aeration. Oh, that's just made a huge difference. It's more uplifted. There's more of everything in there. I'm actually getting a sense of uh, a little bit of violet coming through as well, um, which is very, very pleasant. Um, associated with still the chocolate, but the chocolate's not overpowering. There's all those, there's all these other characters coming through. Um, interesting enough, I was expecting some licorice coming through, and I'm not getting the licorice. And the other thing that I'm not getting is that tingle. Remember I said before I was getting a little tingle on the nose from uh, this wine. Not, not getting that at all now. So I find that very interesting. Now let's just see what happens um, on the... Oh, I just, just realised I've got stickers on my hand from my son's uh, birthday party today. I don't want to ruin those stickers. Now let's try it. Huge difference in this wine, putting it through the Venturi. Um, yes, the fruit. There's a bit of fruit in there, but definitely that fruit is subsiding. But what else is there? I am getting that licorice that I said that I was expecting. I wasn't getting that on the palate. You might hear that I've got a chihuahua here, two chihuahuas, and one of them is barking at somebody walking past. Um, there is a little bit of licorice coming through very pleasant the chocolate characters work out very well as well um, that uh, the violet says that there's a little bit of perfume oh now the other the other dog's barking now <clears throat> that is just such a lovely wine I am so looking forward to consuming this right even more than what I had before I'm excited about this wine I was excited to try it, yes, but now I've got it in front of me with some good aeration. And to me, that just proves absolutely categorically that these wines need some time in the air. Needs a bit of funkiness. Needs a bit of time, right? If you don't have Venturi, make sure you open the bottle, uh, slurp it around a, a decanter or something like that. It makes a huge difference, and I recommend that highly. So remember, Maria Symphony... Uh, if you can get your hands on that, I'll put a link to the website uh, there to uh, to see uh, about uh, talking to Roger for buying some of the wine. You can't get that particular wine, but every single wine that I've tasted from his stable has been sensational, and I highly recommend it. All right. So that's all I have time for Lone Grape TV today. Have an absolutely great week. I know I will, and I'll see you next time. Thanks.